Just as expected, the Volkswagen ID2 All, a concept that I absolutely loved, it was available maybe uh, a, a couple of months back. But I said when I saw that that this is going to be the next Golf, and now we have the Volkswagen ID GTI concept. So it feels like it's funny because. Volkswagen is dropping this concept. The ID2 all looked almost production ready. It wasn't really, you know, a very conceptual uh, concept. You could see it going into production. And now we're, uh, we're one concept closer to production with the uh, ID GTI concept. This looks pretty much, I would say, ready to go into production right now. And what a design! this is and the good news is it's not confirmed for the US yet but there is a I would say a high probability that it will be sold here in the US so what we're gonna do in this video I want to show you the sketches of this thing because it is a fantastic looking design I also love the sketches that Volkswagen puts out these days I'm gonna have a look at those and then of course the front side rear interior which we don't have a picture of yet but the weird it's a Kind of a weird thing with the interior. We're gonna show you. I'm gonna show you that in in a minute. But first of all, car and driver article here to have a look at the, what this is all about. So Volkswagen ID GTI concept announces the future arrival of an electric GTI. It's expected to go on sale in Europe in 2026, although it hasn't yet been confirmed for the U.S. market. So it has retro details on the ID GTI, include the ability to replicate the original Golf GTI soundtrack, which sounds pretty ridiculous to me. I've said this before, but if you have an EV, I don't want it to try to be an internal combustion car, because it just simply isn't. So having fake engine noises and stuff like that is never going to work for me personally, but it's a cool gimmick, I guess. And now we have the I in the GTI, now stands for intelligence rather than injection, which it's pretty sad in my opinion. The ID GTI unveiled at the IAA Auto Show in Munich is a concept car, but a production version is set to follow in Europe. And we're told this is also under consideration for sale in the US. And I'm pretty sure, as I said, it's going to be sold here as well. The ID GTI is effectively a hopped up version of the regular ID2 that Volkswagen previewed with the ID2 all concept earlier this year, which we talked about. I'm going to show you that as well, just how similar this is. This looks like a rally car version of the ID2 wall. I love the design. I can't wait to jump into Photoshop and show you exactly why I think this is such a great design. Like the current gasoline fire GTI, the ID GTI will get an electronically controlled limited slip differential to help it find traction and help alter its behavior and switch switchable uh, dynamic modes. It also has a simulated sound system, which we've already talked about, which can emulate the sounds of the original 1960, uh, 1976 Mark I and the 1986 uh, Mark II. So again, pretty, I, I guess it's just a fun, you know, gimmick to have in your car. Volkswagen has previously said that the large battery pack uh, will support DC fast charging at up to 125 kilowatt and that it will have a range of up to 280 miles, which sounds, it doesn't sound too impressive, but at the same time for this type of package, for this size of an electric car, it is, you know, pretty right there in the middle. Volkswagen restricts the ID3 to 99 miles per hour in Europe and has said it will do the same with the regular ID2. As a performance variant though, will this uh, GTI version be allowed to go faster? I really hope so, because I don't think limiting top, uh, top speed is the right way to go when it comes to EVs, even though you're gonna drain the battery a lot faster when you push uh, EVs uh, up, up to higher speeds. And here's a really cool thing that I love about this car. It's closer to size now to the Polo that we have in, in Europe. And it, that's a car that I love because the, the, the Polo has uh, for almost over a decade now been the new Golf because of the proportions. It's a lot smaller than the Golf and this new Golf here, GTI or ID GTI, is a, a, a lot closer to size to the Polo, which is very nice to see. Feels like the, the Golf has grown maybe a little too much over the years and need to shed a little bit of weight and it looks like it's doing that right here. We can't show you the finished interior yet, but I, I'm gonna kind of show you what the interior is going to look like, not just from this sketch. Um, the concept is an external uh, styling model, but uh, Volkswagen has released renderings of the cabin showing a squared off steering wheel and a red color screen. I don't think that these, uh, this steering wheel is going to make it into production. I think, uh, which I'm gonna show you, as I said, the interior is going to be almost a complete copy of what you have 
in the ID2 all concept. It's weird that they don't, really weird that they don't show the interior of this because as I said, this feels like a closer step to production than the ID2 all, which did have a fully um, a complete interior. So you have a 10.9 inch digital in in instrument display, a larger 12.3 inch display sits in the center of the dashboard and as with the facelifted version of the larger ID models, Volkswagen is bringing back separate temperature and volume controls rather than integrating them into the bottom of the touchscreen. Well done Volkswagen. You have an 8 spoke 20 inch wheel design. These wheels very nicely done. They remind me a little bit of the a uh, tarmac rally style wheels, you know, the Lancia Delta Integral uh, white wheels kind of looks like that. And then we also have the nice stance of this thing looking fantastic. So with that said, let's jump into Photoshop. Let's actually have a look at the real thing. Before we do that, though, let's quickly go over these beautiful sketches, because as you know, I love design sketches and these are no different. So up top, you have a pretty clear rendering here. And this is uh, partly why I think it's so weird that they didn't impl just take the uh, ID2 all interior and implement it in this concept car. Just change this color from blue to red and basically that is exactly what the interior of the ID uh, GTI concept is going to look like. And as, as I've said before as well, this they call this a concept but this is essentially what the next uh, Golf type vehicle from Volkswagen is going to look like because we have every single piece that is, uh, you know, makes it a production car ready. The, the door, uh, the, the side mirrors and the door handles and so on. I also like these uh, sketches that explains the designer's thought and also brings it back to the original and how they are connected. I don't know if you can call this a connection because it really isn't anything, you know, really similar between these two except for maybe... Uh, the, the proper hatchback proportions as you can see down here. What I love about these sketches, here you can see these wheels, massive wheels, and just look how beautifully tucked in they are in the fender, which is also, by the way, extremely wide in this case. And we have some very nice graphics both in the front end. I, I, I actually think this looks better than the Golf R that we have for sale uh, right now. So with that said, let's jump in and uh, finally have a look at the real thing here. So just look at this car. And keep in mind that this is in a similar size to the Polo, so it is a smaller car than the current Golf with this type of styling. And to me, this definitely does not look like an EV. It looks like it could definitely house a small little four-cylinder or maybe even a three-cylinder with some hybrid powertrain here. I would love to see that in this package. But first of all, let's talk about the graphics here. These are pretty much identical to the ID2 all concept that we saw. I do love these graphics. I like the light bar that we have in the front end. Uh, it, it's okay for Volkswagen to have light bars because I feel like they've had it for such a long time now that uh, they kind of uh, grandfathered in when it comes to having light bars both in the front, specifically in the front I would say, and in the rear. But having a look at this front end, what's interesting here is that it doesn't look like any other ID model that is currently for sale. With this round bubbly shape that we have on the ID4, uh, the ID5 and, and all of these other ID models, this looks very sharp. And again, it feels like, same with the Mercedes we just talked about here on the channel, it feels like companies are um, figuring out the technology of EVs now, the range and so on. Uh, so they don't necessarily need to have this bubble shape on every single EV that they make. And that is a good thing because that means that we can create, as designers, we can create some very cool designs uh, that are EVs that have some clear resemblance to the you know historical models and not just make them into beans like we've seen so far in so many other uh, car EVs today. But what's also interesting here is, is it, this looks like it has the normal grill up here. You see we have an intake here. We have a pretty large grill here at the bottom as well. So it feels like, I mean, that's also a reason why I think this does not really look like an uh, you know, EV that we're used to seeing with a faceless front end with less uh, styling in the front. We do have some very cool details here as well. And this uh, squared off piece here, very nicely done with a lower lip, looking super cool. And the side view is probably my favorite view of this car because it is going back to the original 80s, 90s hot hatchback styles 
of what they used to be. With a very compact shape, you have the two box design here. We don't have this hatchback design that looks like a coupe that slopes down and then creates some sort of, um, you know, uh, rear end here with almost a trunk. This is the proper way if you want to design a cool looking, specifically when it comes to golf, polos, Volkswagen hatchbacks. This is what you want it to look like. And I also love this chamfer that we have down here and then cuts in creating this gorgeous chamfer going around the entire greenhouse and then kind of fades right here into the A-pillar. You can also see if we stretch down the A-pillar, it has this almost connection to the front um, axle, the center point of the front axle. It doesn't really get there, but that's also not what normal internal combustion engine uh, hatchbacks has. They have very similar proportions to what we're seeing down here. I also like that we have the black graphics in the lower section, a little bit of black going around the, uh, the wheel arches, but this black graphics in the bottom with the uh, stamped in or embossed GTI back here, then coming back in the rear diffuser. And the graphics that we have down here is also very cool. This pattern, it gives some retro vibes, in my opinion, to this design. And of course, looking at the side view, look at this beautiful little wing. It's not so little, it's actually pretty substantial, but it sends this design off in such a cool way, making it look super sporty. And we have the, I, I believe these were 20 inch wheels that we have right here looking fantastic. Such a cool design for these wheels. And I, I'm glad to see that EVs are not just putting a, you know, a, a plate on to the wheels anymore. Even though it is an EV, we still have some uh, clearly defined spokes and we can see what's behind it. We can see the, uh, the brake disc behind the wheel itself. Now looking at the rear end, and this has some very classic golf lines. You can see this line here, which we forgot to talk about in the side view. This is a typical golf C pillar. If you don't have this, in a golf, you can't really call this a golf. And you can clearly see that it is integrated right here with these two lines cutting into the rear end. We have a very clearly defined bumper, which is something that is fading away today. So I'm glad to see that intact in this uh, specific concept here. And the diffuser looks pretty aggressive for what this is. It's a golf GTI or an ID uh, GTI hatchback design. Uh, ele electric. So it, it feels like this is very aggressive for what we've used to seeing from Volkswagen. And that is again, not a bad thing. And I also like the curvatures that we have in this lower uh, side skirt right here, creating some dynamic and movement arrows in this design. We have the same graphics in the back here coming back like we have in the side. And I also like that now we don't have this organic shape that we have on a lot of other ID models where you have all these curvatures going down and creating more of an organic feel. Now Volkswagen is going back to their core identity when it comes to uh, in the, uh, car design, which is every single line that needs to have a purpose. If it doesn't have a purpose, it's not supposed to be on a Volkswagen. And I feel like this is definitely uh, embodying uh, that type of philosophy. Now, the interior here. So this is the most, uh, I would say, um, rendered out or detailed sketch that I could find of this uh, concept car. And as you can see, it looks very much like the ID2 that we have down here. And this is the reason why, uh, you know, it's pretty uh, certain that this is exactly what the interior is going to look like. Because if you compare the sketch to the ID2 all uh, e existing interior, which is also a concept car, which is pretty crazy, but this is definitely going into production. So this is the reason why I think this uh, interior is going to look exactly like we have on the ID2 all. Now, would I like to see this be an internal combustion engine, uh, have an option for that? Of course I would, because I think these proportions with, it doesn't have to be a, a massive engine up front, but just have some noise manual transmission with this package, maybe even all wheel drive like we have in the Golf R and maybe even smack some, ex uh, you know, quad exhaust down here it would just look so cool. But I don't think that is ever going to happen with this specific package. Unfortunately, it would be very cool to see though. Overall, fantastic job by Volkswagen and the whole design team creating this little piece. The biggest takeaway for me, uh, there are two actually. First of all, Volkswagen is going back to a more um, a chisel design, more of what they've had 
for the last 30 years and removing that organic soft vibe that we have from other ID cars. The second takeaway is that we maybe this is the start of shrinking cars down because we if we don't have the internal combustion engine transmission stuff like that we can actually make the car smaller but the interior space is pretty much going to stay the same as the current Golf that we have on sale right now. So very well done Volkswagen. I can't wait to see this. I'm gonna hope that it comes to the US one day.